Hello, everyone, and welcome to this talk titled Connecting End Users and Developers with Requirements Bazaar. So my name is Istvan Koren, and uh, I'm from the RWTH Aachen University in Germany, one a large technical science engineering uh, university in Germany, Europe. And as a research institute in computer science, we're uh, working a lot with uh, end users. So we have projects where we build apps for construction workers on the construction site, or we have another project where we build HoloLens applications for helicopter manufacturers and um, astronaut training. Pretty cool stuff. And what we discover in all these projects and what we notice is that a lot of ideas, of course, are coming from the end users. And if you look at how um, you usually collect end user feedback, it's um, like this in the open source world. So this is Bugzilla from Mozilla. For the end user, it's found out it's very confusing, a lot of uh, fields to fill out, or there is the Android bug tracker. There's a lot of fields to fill out. What we tried is uh, Jira. Um, people didn't understand things like uh, factic version and fixed version and so on. But what we found out is that people love sending, filling out a short text box um, and sending us feedback or via email, for example, or via the Android App Store. That's another very um, common thing for end users to just fill out there and, and wait for help. But that doesn't really scale. So it's very hard for developers um, to accommodate for the wishes for a lot of end users. And um, we also want to integrate the end user feedback into our continuous life cycle. So there's continuous integration, delivery, deployment already uh, in place in a lot of projects. What is missing is here the continuous innovation factor. And to this end, we came up with a software called Requirements Bazaar. And its structure is very simple. So you have uh, projects, you have categories within projects, and you have requirements. And people uh, just need to click a box, a plus button on the, on the um, bottom right, and a small text field opens up, people can enter there, then developers can come and comment, or other users can discuss and vote on the features. So the key ideas here is to build a very simple platform where end users, developers, designers, and researchers can come together and discuss and prioritize new ideas. Also, um, the end users they want to be aware like what is currently going on, what developers are working on. So it is possible in the requirements bazaar. Integrate in any context. So we have uh, REST APIs. You can integrate in your app to just push, push ideas like this feedback box that you know from many apps. And export options for developers if they want to, to use the ideas in their actual issue trackers like GitHub issues or Jira. The details of the open source requirements bazaar is so we have a progressive web app. It's responsive, mobile first. You open it and after the, the first launch it loads really fast. It installs on your home screen, something we heard uh, this morning. It really boosted the usage. We have uh, Polymer web components, a REST backend based on Java. It's on uh, GitHub. And we use Jira and Jenkins for the continuous life cycle. Outlook, what we are currently working on, is uh, fix the integration with Jira and GitHub. So to offer a button uh, next to a requirement to ex export the issue to Jira. Um, we have one guy working on the gamification aspect, so you get points and badges if you develop something or if you post new ideas. So that keeps the users engaged and the developers as well. And uh, add design tools so that designers can upload different versions of a new button, for example, and users can vote. Embracing new communities um, outside of the pure software development uh, so, for example, we found uh, that a community in Afghanistan, in Kabul, is actually using the requirements bazaar to plan um, the digitalization of, of, of their country. It's really um, interesting to see. And localization. So, uh, we have um, people translating it to 
different languages. So that is where um, we also looking for, for contributions. So contacts are here, requirementsbazaar.org. Feel free to try it out. And uh, this is our email address, and that is uh, my Twitter handle. Thank you.